From 1957, The Flying Scot is a fantastic B-movie thriller. Really well constructed, really well set up, wonderfully executed, a really taut, tense movie about a heist. I was sold when I heard the synopsis of this one. Putting it on, you get a wonderful 15 minute uh, opening sequence which is done without dialogue as we watch our characters go about the perfect robbery. They're on a train, they're pretending to be something, they start to get their tails out, they've got other members of the heist around uh, and they're breaking through a wall of the train uh, to grab all this money from the say, mail cart. Really well done, goes super smoothly, everything is expertly done. This is a crack team of heist specialists, they're in, they're out, it's awesome, done without dialogue like I said and it just tees up the rest of the film. It's fantastic. Everybody is mysterious. Everybody is accomplished and know exactly what they're doing and they work together as a cohesive unit. Let me jump to some faraway place as our people are starting to talk about another robbery. Our main character has decided that they're going to rob the flying uh, Scot of half a million in uh, money that's going to be destroyed. The first Tuesday of every month, the banks up there send half a million pounds down to London by registered mail. That's a million and a half dollars for destruction. Everything's going to go super easy, exactly like the last job. They're going to go onto the train, they're going to get into the main cart they need to get into, they're going to go through the wall, grab the stuff, get out, done, dead easy. Only this is one of those jobs where everything that could possibly go wrong does and that's what puts the pressure um, onto this situation. It's one of those movies where you get to discover all these characters through their interactions, through uh, the conversations, their neuroses, their health situation, what drives them, their kind of psychological state. As things go wrong, the pressure mounts on our uh, crack team of heist specialists and the miraculous thing is, is even though they're doing something wrong, you want them to get away with it. You understand that this is kind of the last gasp for a lot of these people. They just want to get this one last haul, get out of there and live the rest of their life in somewhat security. Expert, look, you show me a safe and I know what I'm at. I've never torn a railroad coach apart before. Nobody has. How's it feel to be a pioneer? But it's all the, the kind of characters that should be kind of annoying. There's, there's a young kid that's always getting in the way, always antagonising everything. There is an alcoholic drunk that's just causing problems. These people keep turning up and making the job worse and worse. And that's in addition to everything going as wrong as it possibly could do for the people doing the heist. If anybody else comes in here, I'll kill him. So you're subtle. Good thing for him, you've got time to be subtle. I haven't. I really loved The Flying Scott. I thought it mounted the tension expertly well by having that 15 minute, everything is just super golden and perfect into the heist where everything that could possibly go wrong will go wrong. And it just created this wonderful sense of time pressure, of uh, life pressure, of um, great demands on these people physically, mentally, as they're starting to break, as they just, the tenacity won't let go, they are going to do this job rather than just walking up. What do we do now? Take it with us. I really loved The Flying Scott. I thought it was really well done uh, without much of, of uh, a star cast. Much of it is set within a train carriage as well, which I think was just fantastic. So limited locations, limited budget, maximum tension and entertainment in this one. If you haven't seen The Flying Scott, thoroughly recommend checking this one out. Amazing movie. So glad I got to watch it as well. I would love to know your thoughts on this movie. So let me know in the comment box below whether you liked it, hated it, somewhere in the middle didn't care for it, let me know. I want to have that discussion with you. As always, there's more content up here. You can see more of my stuff. Hit that like button just below this video. And in the description box is a link to the Patreon. 
in the membership program where you can really support this channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time on Man V Film.